Hi guys, Uma here, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the second part of my kitchen cleaning and organization video series and I am organizing kitchen countertop and spices today. We have very narrow kitchen and since it has too many things on the countertop, it looks like smaller and even more narrow. I'm so delighted with the result and I was still able to keep some necessary things but with more space saving options. And if you have missed my under the sink cabinet organization video, I will leave the links in the description box below so please don't forget to check it out after watching this. And please subscribe, I would love you to stick around. So here you see the real view of my countertop and it has too many things and looks cluttered. We usually keep fruits in this large plate so I found this two level fruit basket which saves a lot of space and has higher capacity. Next, I'm organizing our spices. I and my husband love to cook and we prefer to use various spices and experiment with flavors. But we have too much now and some of them we are not using and I was surprised that some of them have actually even passed the expire date. So I am checking the expiration dates and getting rid of those that we don't need. And this space always looked unorganized. tire spice rack which is ideal to this area and it can keep a lot of spices. I ordered it from Amazon. I didn't organize spices by name because I know that I won't be able to keep it that way all the time but I have organized it by the manufacturer. I'm also happy with this two-level spinning organizer and I have decided to use it for the items that we need on a regular basis like oil, salt and pepper. I'm so happy that this space looks so organized now and it's so easy to find the spice that you need. Next I thought that I will need to organize this side of the fridge because it is more visible side and because we have too many things on it like magnets and weekly menu notes it looks like a mess all the time so I found this magnetic refrigerated chalkboard for the weekly menu and it is so amazing how Often small things can make a big difference. As folks 
who always cook at home, we have a lot of cooking knives for the different meats, fish, and we have this wood knife organizer that occupies the space and we also have the second magnetic organizer on the wall that mostly holds knives more as display or as decoration, which is not very useful. Thus, I thought to keep only one, which is the wall magnet, and now it has most of the kitchen knives that we use on a regular basis. Next is the utensils organizer. We have this one which works ok and holds everything, but the problem is that it has open spaces in the frame and as a result utensils sometimes are stuck in the open sections. And I got this wooden one from Bed Bath & Beyond and I am very happy with the purchase. Next I want to show you this paper towel holder, it can be mounted to the wall or under the cabinet, I didn't use it because it was not a good fit to my kitchen, but I thought to share since it is a very good solution if you want to have more space. And I'm keeping my paper towel in this countertop paper towel holder. As tea fanatics, we have this tea station that I'm moving to a cabinet that I'll be organizing in my next organization video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right now so you won't miss it. As a next step, I'm organizing this corner that has this wine bottle holder, which essentially became an organizer for small random stuff. Let's be honest, it doesn't look good at all. So I'm replacing it with this bamboo coffee condiment organizer and we'll be keeping our vitamin supplements, coffee filter cups and some of the charger cords. And here is the final look and it is so amazing how small changes can make big differences and how with small effort we can make our kitchen look much more nicer and organized. So everything still has its place, some of the items still are on the countertops, but everything looks so organized that I want to spend even more time in my kitchen now. Let me know in the comments below your favorite organization solutions for your kitchen. I really hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you some motivation to make some changes in your kitchen too. Please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching and I see you on my next one. Bye!